Hi Patriots! In an email newsletter I sent out a few weeks ago, I touched briefly on how us women can be supporting men in these times that we're in, and I'd like to go more into that today. First, I'm going to start off with a few statements that I believe about women, and we'll see how it goes. One, I don't think that a woman should ever be President of the United States. I think it would make us look weak as a country, and that position should only be filled by men. Two, I don't even believe that some women should have the right to vote because they vote with their feelings and not their logic and that's the reason why we have a bunch of sissy laws on the books that are weakening our society. And last but certainly not least, it's not the soy milk making men weak. It's strong women not knowing their place. Wow. So now that I have your attention and your heart is either racing out of rage or excitement, let's talk about how we can make men better. And yes, it's us ladies that have to do a lot of the work. Before I get into the details, let's address a few incidentals. Ladies, I know you're very strong. I know you're very intelligent. I know you're talented and capable, and I know that there are exceptions to every rule. There are some women that can outperform men physically. It's not many, but it can happen. I also know that there are women out there through no choice of their own that are raising their kids by themselves, and they're doing an amazing job at it. This is not a woman bashing video, this is a man building video. But to do that effectively, we need to take an honest look at ourselves, ladies, and see what's getting in the way of men being their best. And the unfortunate truth is, most of the time, it's us. I am very aware that men have a big responsibility in this. They are responsible for their own weaknesses. There are some guys that are just jerks and they're not going to work on themselves and so we're not going to be able to support them in certain roles. Or there are situations where there are men that are just, how do you say, eh. And no matter how much we change, it's not going to make them change, but we are not addressing that side of the equation today. One, because men need to address men on their own issues. And two, because ladies first. So why do we need to build up men? Besides being the right thing to do and because we love them, we need to build them up because we are at war and we need our strong men to fight for us. Strong men make strong families and strong families make strong societies. That can bring down the deep state. We have been very weakened by the demonizing of masculinity and the rise and promotion of feminism. And as Hercules himself said, they know a society of strong men would never have allowed what's happening right now. That's why they attacked masculinity first. We need manly men who will take the lead. About a month ago, I was in a meeting with both Christian men and women, and a female friend of mine took the initiative at the end of the meeting to pray over the group. And while she was praying, I was sitting there and I felt like God was doing this. Just knocking on my heart with a message saying, do you see what I see? And I thought in that moment that a man should be the one praying over the meeting. And there were plenty of men there that would have been willing to do that. But it's women like my friend, women like me, women in general who often jump in to get things done because we can. But the question is, should we? Because in that moment, and in many moments when we step up to take the lead, we're training men that they don't have to step up. It's in those little moments that seem insignificant that the leadership role of men and their everyday opportunities to sharpen their masculine skills are taken away by us. And so on that day, I made a choice that when I am in the presence of men, that I allow them every opportunity to take the lead. That means that I don't volunteer to lead the group in prayer, that I don't volunteer to lead projects. And that doesn't mean that I can't, and that doesn't mean that I'm not able but it just means that I'm making the conscious decision to allow men, especially my husband, every opportunity to grow stronger. Because the times that we're in require bold and brave leaders, and that's what men were designed to be. God set up our roles as males and females to work together perfectly and complement one another. We each have our strengths and also our weaknesses. But here's the thing. The pedestal of leadership is very small and only fits one person at a time. That position was given to men. So if, ladies, you have put yourself on that pedestal because you think you can lead your family better, because you think you discipline your kids in the best way, because you're more well-spoken, because your husband lacks some skill, it's time to step off that platform so he can get on it. And that is a hard thing to do, especially if the men or man in your life is more passive. And it's hard because we don't want them to fail, because failing means that they may embarrass us in some way, or themselves, or it may mean that we bring in less income for our family, or that they say something stupid, or that, that they don't get the details right. I'm saying that we need to set aside that fear of him failing and simply let him fail. 
And here's the kicker, without condemnation. And when he fails, and he will because he's not perfect, and nor are you, we encourage them to try again instead of criticizing them, especially in front of other people. Trust me, ladies, I think I could have avoided 90% of the arguments I've had with my husband if I would have kept silent and not corrected him in front of others. I was recently around someone who was constantly demeaning her husband and he was sitting right there and she was telling some story about one of his past failures and rolling her eyes at him and doing this and that and it made me sad and disgusted inside. One, because I've done it, but I know better now, I'm aware and I know how hurtful that is. And two, because she's his partner, his helper, and she was sitting there acting like he was an embarrassing burden. That man is not prepped to slay demons and win battles, at least not by her. She is a weight around his neck instead of being an encouraging asset in his life. And ladies, we can do better. We must do better because decades of feminism and the normalization of dumbing down and demonizing men is destroying us. Women are notorious for being controlling, and controlling behaviors come from fear. So ladies, what are you afraid of when it comes to stepping off that pedestal of leadership? What are you afraid will happen if you allow the men in your life to take the lead on the little and big things? Isn't building up your man to be the warrior God made him to be worth letting go of those fears that are, for the most part, either irrational or not even important? Can you imagine a world where men were so emboldened and encouraged by their women to show up and fight that us women didn't ever have to go make speeches at school board meetings or protest mandatory vaccinations or deal with a bully neighbor down the street? That men would just automatically take care of business with their strength and authority? That would be hot. And that's the way it's supposed to be. But we just hijacked their job. Also, watch out for this false narrative of the lone mama bear, the fighting woman that has the responsibility of protecting her children. Yes, of course we protect our families, but where is your husband? I get the analogy, but you are not a bear alone in the woods. You are a woman, a human being in a home with a husband. Let's look at the seemingly inspiring post I saw this week on social media. So this one says, the last thing standing between, between a child and industry corruption is a mother. That's bull crap. That should read parents. Fathers love their children just as much as mothers do, and they want to protect them even more so, and they, are, they have an innate, ingrained desire to do so. So ladies, let them lead your battles. Be watchful for stuff like this, because the world will do whatever it takes to keep your husband's physical strength and authority out of the fight. Again, men were built for that job, and when women take it over, they get drained very easily. I'll share this with you. Personally, I get very wary very often fighting for our freedom. And why? Because I am a female, I am a woman, and I am not built to carry the burden of battle on my shoulders. That does not mean that I don't have skills to add to the fight. That just means that the bulk of the battle should be on the shoulders of men. And we need to let them have that role of warrior and protector. Lately, I've been deprogramming myself and working on, you know, hearing bad news and not automatically feeling like it's my responsibility to save humanity from this horrible thing. And it's a constant discipline of doing this, taking myself off that pedestal and allowing God, my husband and the men around me to grow stronger and win battles for us. This also means that I'm just more aware about how I'm treating my husband and how I need to let him be a man. Like if my husband wants to fix my old truck and I immediately go to the thought of why can't we just take it to the mechanic? It, what if he fixes it and costs us more money than if we just would have taken it to the mechanic? Why can't it just be easy? But instead I let him be a man and I say, okay babe, have fun. And I cheer on his successes. Or ladies, I'm sure you relate to this. You send your husband to the grocery store with a list and he comes back with things that are wrong. It happened to us the other day. He came back with conventional bell peppers instead of organic bell peppers. And my immediate knee jerk reaction was to criticize. But instead I shut my mouth and I say, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to go shopping for us, babe. And then I go into my bedroom and I scream bloody murder into a pillow. I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. Ladies, when we take little moments to think about what we're doing and we fall into the roles that we are designed for, beautiful things happen in our relationships and our families. With tougher battles coming down the road, our men need us to let them be men. And that means giving them the gift of getting out of the way. 
Some quick closing thoughts and practical tips. Change is not going to happen overnight, but it's a constant refining process for both of you. Be patient with one another. Two, be open with him on how you want to change for the better and ask him to lovingly and privately point out when you make him feel degraded. Ladies, let him feel safe doing that and don't get defensive. Three, men need their own kick in the pants too. So a few accounts they can go to for guidance are the Warrior Poet Society, Ryan Mickler, and Masculine Revival. I will write where you can find them in the comment below the video. And lastly, if you lack the motivation to change, do it for your kids. They are watching and learning how men and women should treat each other by seeing your example. The powers that be want nothing more than to destroy the family unit. Watch out for their subtle ways and make the small choices every day to build up the warriors in your life. This fight is more important than most, if not all. And if you know of any female accounts that uh, teach women how to honor men and thrive in that traditional role, or of any other pro-masculine accounts, please add them to the comments below. Ladies, I want the best for you. So let's spur one another on and sharpen each other so we can be the best partners we can be for our warriors. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please forward it to someone that you think would benefit from it. If you want to support me further, you can always go to my website, goodpatriot.com, and go to my support page to see the options there, or just simply buy a t-shirt. I appreciate your time and you considering being better for your partner. I will see you all again soon. I'm Good Patriot and God bless. We have to not talk down to them or... Babe, I told you I'm filming. <sighs> I'm just kidding, honey. Thank you for working so hard. I love you.